Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm on now um, to share with you the cards that I made for the fight for the five card challenge. Um, I was challenged by Amber Cantayas Crafts. Um, so you now you have to make five cards, four of which you make off camera, one you make on camera. You're not allowed to use any inks or stamps. But you can use dies or punches, but you can't use dies and punches. You're allowed to use embellishments, um, toppers, decoupage, etc. Cards can be any size, um, but all need to be different. So um, I went through my collection. I, I do love a decoupage. Um, I have quite a few different ones. So first up, I'm going to share with you the cards that I have made. So this one um, is a gorgeous girl one. Um, and this was a die cut or a decoupage kit that I won um, last year. I think it was last year, might have been the beginning of this year. Um, by Ros, who is Crafty Mama Paper Crafts here on YouTube. Um, so th I thought this one was quite nice because it's like a postcard, but it's actually like a shadow box. So um, I thought that was nice. The, the backing paper was in the kit as well. And I've added these lovely little gems here. Um, I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're iridescent. And they were from the lovely Janet Kay. Um, I have been hoarding them, but I thought it's, but I can't not keep hoarding them. Um, on all of these cards, I've used gems. Um, I haven't, normally when I'm card making, I generally go straight for my Nouveau drops. But I find that I've got a large box of gems that I don't actually use. Um, I tend to hoard them. Um, so I thought, oh, I'm coming out of camera there. I do apologise. Um, so I thought it was about time I used some of them. So we have that one. I have another decoupage one here of the gorgeous girls. This time she's on the beach. Um, and again, I've used the backing papers out of the kit along with um, some of the gems from the lovely Janet K. I haven't put any sentiments on any of these because I don't know what I'm going to use them for or who I'm going to send them to so I didn't want to put sentiments on them um, until I know where they're going or what I'm using them for. Um, this one is a hunky dory kit. Um, I think this was one of the free members gifts but I don't know which one it was. I think it might have been the recent one, um, but I'm not so sure. So we've got that one in the lovely purple. And again, these gems are out of my um, stash. And I think this bow come in the box of bows that the lovely Kim Kelly um, gifted to me. So we have that one. And then we have another um, honky dory one. Um, I thought I'd put that bow on back to front then, but I haven't. And this one's little kittens and cats. or oh, cats. I don't know if they're cats or kittens, but they're cute, whatever they are. Um, if you know me, you know I love my cats. So this one was very appropriate for me. Um, the backing paper was in um, a kit. This one has come from a selection when last year, I think it was last year, when I subscribed to one of my magazines you got a um a selection quite a large selection of honky dory um topper kits and um, they weren't the big deep ones that you get with the members only gifts but so they were like like get well soon or on your christening so they had every celebration going and this was one of the toppers um and i thought that was really cute as were the the papers um and i thought that one was quite nice so they're the four I've made already. Um, so I thought I would um, now share with you the one I'm going to make. Um, it wouldn't be decoupage or toppers. I didn't use any of the house couple ditch collections. So this is the gift of giving. Um, this was out last summer, I believe it was. Um, I've cut everything down. So that's one of the decoupage um, pieces out of the kit. So I've already put it together. There's quite a lot of dimension 
on there. I don't know if you can see that on my camera, um, but there is a lot of dimension there. Um, so you've got the parcel here with the flowers. You've got this little cute white cat. You've got the Dalmatian dog there and then the doggy there. And that little cat there reminds me of our little one who passed away. We had a pure white cat. Um, so, as I say, I have put every, cut everything. So, um, I thought we would put this together on camera. Um, I hope everyone is alright. I've got a bit of a toothache today. That's my Right. I'm going to use um, double-sided tape. This tape is the tissue tape from Tonic Studio. I use a few different ones, but this is one of the thinner ones that I like because um, it's easy ripped. Don't need to use my scissors. And it's got quite a good hold. The tonic call it tissue tape. I say for cards, you don't need anything that's like you don't need red liner tape and that, depending on what you're putting on it. I hope everyone's having a nice day. It's very warm here, which I think it is in most of the UK. So we're in a bit of a heat wave, um, which is good if you like it. Not so good like for like me when who doesn't like it. But um, never mind. So I don't very often um, share my cards really. I tend to make them for like giveaways and things like that. And then, oh, sorry if my head's in the way. Probably just got a view. I'll just straighten that up. So that's kind of a bit wonky. That's the joy of doing it on camera. Um, I don't normally share my cards and that that I make. Or things that I do, you know, unless they're for a club and that really. Um... I'm very lax in actually taking videos or pictures um, of when I've made a card before I've sent it to somebody. I just normally send it and then think afterwards, oh, I should have um, took a picture of that or something. Let me show I've got this. So it's like a tent fold, that's fine. Let me just pick my book, my cutter up because that's not straight. We still isn't going to be straight, but I won't have. I've got it up the right way because I have been known before to um, put the things on upside down so I just keep checking especially with me being on camera I'm not using my art glitter glue because I want a bit of movement in this in case I don't get it on straight and um, So I do use quite a few different, well, a few different glues for different things, but this one's quite nice um, for, you know, for movement. If you want something to be able to move. Oh, I should have put that down a bit more, but I put glue on it now, so I will. Never mind. So 
Sorry, I just went a bit quiet then, didn't I? So I hope that piece of paper there is better so you're not getting the glare. Um from my light on the glass mat. So I've been in the process of um Sorting out my upstairs room. I haven't been up there for a couple of days, so I do need to go back up and do a bit more. So hopefully I'll be videoing up there soon. And then I shouldn't... Hopefully be affected by noise in the house. I've had to wait today. My daughter's on late. So I've had to wait till she goes to work. And then... The neighbour decided he was going to um, cut his grass. You could hear that because I've got the door open. So you have to sort of wait, don't you? in the background really I think there we go let me just push that down I'm not too bothered if the glue seeps out because it dries clear so again I'm not going to put um, a sentiment on because I don't know when I'll use it I've got some of the gems here and um, these collections you can buy either through Craft Consortium, um, Craft Stash or on Create and Craft. Hmm. I'll use this pink. Video. Um, there we go. So that's my card that I've made on camera. I'll lift it up so I can show it you. And that's using um, the decoupage kit um, and the papers from the Gift of Giving um, collection by House Cupperditch. So there's my f one, two, three, four. And five cards using no inks and no dies, um, no inks and no stamps. So I'm to nominate two people, but it's very hard to nominate. And there's so many people that have already done it. A lot of people um, may be away or whatever and, and, and not um, putting up as much videos. You know, we are in the summer. Um, so I'm going to nominate Bex Craft and um, Angie Beaumont. You don't have to take up the challenge. It is your choice. Um, I will leave um, Amber's link in the description box and also Dee Dee's Craft. Um, so I've nominated Bex Crafts and Angie Beaumont um, to take on the challenge of the five card challenge. Um, also, can I just say... Um, I've noticed over the last couple of weeks that people are, who I haven't seen a video of for a while, I've suddenly thought, oh, I haven't seen such and such's video, so I've gone to check, and it tells me I've been unsubscribed, 
I've not unsubscribed from anybody. Um, and the only way I've known it was happening is because I haven't noticed a video when they normally are regular um, uploading. Um, so be in mind of that. If you've not seen a video from somebody for a while, it may be because you've been un unsubscribed without you knowing. I don't know why YouTube does it, but it does. It's, it's quite annoying. Um, I think this is the second time it's happened to me. Um, in the last since I've been on YouTube in the last year, um, so it is quite annoying. But it's not me that's that's done it. So that's it for me for now. Um, take care, stay safe, enjoy the hot weather, um, but do stay safe in the hot weather. Um, you know, because you can get poorly in that. Um, I hope anybody anybody that's parents here in the UK whose children's gone back to school, I hope they're enjoying being back with their friends. Um, my youngest daughter has um she's waiting um until next year to apply for her um phd and um, she has to wait for her um results from her masters um so she's taken um a teaching assistant job in a in the school in a secondary school in in rugby um and she started She started, I'm trying to think when she started. She started last week, I think it was. Um, and she was really, really nervous. Um, and I said to her, you know, you're just as nervous as the children really, aren't you? Um, but she's doing all right. So anybody who has kids, I hope that, I know here in Coventry and that they've only just gone back this week, I believe. Um, so I hope they're all having a lovely time at school. Um, that's it for me for now. Take care, stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.